happy Thursday. How are you all today? Hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe and hope you're coping well with the lockdown. I thought I would film today a sort out. So we're getting a new freezer today, just like a little chest freezer. So we've had to move things around and also our loft needs a sort out. So we're gonna be doing that as well. So I don't know how far we're gonna get with everything today, but this could be over two days or, we'll just see where we go, how we um, get there. Please excuse the state of me. I'm not gonna put makeup on just to do a clear out. It might be, some people's thing might not be it's fine but for me it's not really worth it so um so this is the current situation we had the glass cabinet here but this is where the chest freezer is going to go we've got a bit of an organized mess going on so here is things i'm making for Oliver, so this is his Christmas Eve box that I made, well, started making last year. But I just need to put some stamps on it, the stamps are in. So I need to put some stamps on the other side that just say like, you know, delivery things. So, yeah, I need to finish this and this is going to be Santa's tray that I need to make some leather stencils and all the paint pens and everything all in there. So that's why that's there, I need to get on and make that. These are just a couple of Christmas bits we've picked up that we're going to... Just, we need to find out where to put all our Christmas stuff. I'm thinking on top of the freezer when it comes and just having our little sort of Christmas area. But obviously we need to wait for that to come. The hoover can't go back up until the freezer's there. And the glass cabinet is currently here. My mum's just given everything a little clean. Of course it gets a little bit dusty, doesn't it, being in these things. So, um, we'll fill that up. And then we need to figure out where to put the Oliver's tall table that was there. I'm thinking maybe there. Right, where Barney's standing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then the things that oh, there he is. The things that was there. I need to figure out where to put. And then figure out where to put his arts and crafts thing. So um that's sort of the first job we've got to do. And then we're going to head up to the loft and see what needs doing up there. Just walked in and Oliver's picked up his music thing. Put it on his lap. <laughs> and he's sitting there having a great time. So this is the Paw Patrol car. Chase is one that I was talking about that he absolutely loves. He's got Chase there sitting next to him. He's absolutely obsessed. Apparently he's having a musical kind of day. Boys, all they want to do is climb, don't they? They just want to climb. He's even learnt how to climb up on this table, which is fun. It means we can't really leave him now. I have no idea what's wrong with him or what he's trying to do. <laughs> so this is how the glass cabinets look at the minute. For anyone that doesn't really know me, Hard Rock Cafe is my favourite restaurant. So I've got an Edinburgh one, a London one, a San Antonio one. And I'm surprised I don't have an Orlando one because that's the one I've been to most. But I've got the little collections up there. Down here I've got my 
Beauty and the Beast section. In Disney World, there's a um, Beauty and the Beast area with Gaston's Tavern and things. And they've got this gorgeous shop full of all these sorts of things. They're absolutely stunning. So I've got some of them. This is my Alice in Wonderland collection. A tea mug, some cups. I'm obsessed with this. It is so Alice in Wonderland. Absolutely love it. These are all my shot glasses. I used to collect shot glasses everywhere I went. I got a new one. So I've got some from Edinburgh, San Antonio, Paris, all the Florida ones, Hard Rock Cafe Manchester, um, Universal, Making of Harry Potter, SeaWorld, Scuffy Cove, Fish Gardens, all the Disney ones. That's my little collection. I've got an empty shelf there. I've got these which my sister gave me, the glittery ones. And then I went through a stage of wanting to make cocktails. So I've got a few cocktail shakers um, for like birthdays and things. These are just my random cups and then again this is some Disney ones, my butterbeer cup and things that wouldn't fit on the top shelf. More for Oliver's party, um, not party but like if we're outside in the garden one summer we could make like iced fruit punch or something and Got the glasses there. Um, things to put in the freezer, ice cubes, <laughs> wine stoppers, all just nice like a little garden party. So that's the progress on this at the minute. Because I've got an empty shelf. So I don't know what I'll put on that, but I'll find something. But yeah, that's how we've got so far. This is my mum's attempt to try and stop Oliver climbing the ladder. She put a, <laughs> a unit, a set of drawers, at the bottom of the ladder. And Oliver just moved it out the way so he can try and climb. Well, it usually works with most children. <laughs> so, well, my mum's down, uh, down there doing bits. And I'm up here, just trying to sort it out. So one of the bulbs has gone. So over there, that's all Christmas. <laughs> These are all of Oliver's presents. These are the things that need to go down and go. This cross trainer needs to go. And all of this needs sorting out. Because, as you can see, there's loads of space down the back. But we kind of pile everything on the front. So we need to reorganise it. Um, these need to go over. Oh dear. Then, that's all my stuff. Over there. We not long sorted the loft out. And like I said, we end up just piling everything at the front. So then it gets to the point we can't, <laughs> we can't do anything. But like I said, because the decorations are back there, we need to kind of move all of this. Um, these can just go in my room for now. These are just, like I said, Oliver's toys. That's his main present for me. It's an electric bike thing. And yeah, just take everything down sort of, and also we've got some Christmas things up here as well that we need organised. So that's this job. I'm not going to film it because it's quite dark so you can't really see much. But this is the situation and I'll, I'll keep you updated as we go along. Right, so this is how we're looking now. This is all Christmas all back there right to the back of the wall is all Christmas and I said in a previous video 
we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have a lot. This is all my wrapping paper. This is my mum's wrapping paper. There's some things in there, like sacks and things. So yeah, that's all Christmas. Made room around here now. They're empty boxes and things. Um, this car seat needs to go, but when the dumps and everything are open, we'll be able to do it. But that needs to go, this cross trainer needs to go. Then when this goes, we can sort all this out. I mean, when you actually look at it, there's not actually much there. It's all just piled up, it's all like big boxes. I've sorted out back there. I've put the silver cross there. So that's out the way. Um, so yeah, and there's just some bits there, that's um, insulation and then just we're back to Christmas. Back there is just our suitcases. So yeah, that's a big job done and the stairs are there so all we've got to do is one of us normally stands here, passes things down, we pile it up and then take all downstairs. So that'll be a fun video to film, but that's a loft clear out. Feel very happy with that, feel very accomplished. My room isn't gonna um, like me very much because it's just piled up with toys and things, but never mind, that's what happens. <laughs> we put putting the decorations up probably around the 16th of November, so once that's all, this is all down and it's all the empty boxes, then I can bring his toys back up, so it's only for a couple of weeks, so that's fine. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of the loft clear out. So this is the current state of my room. <laughs> These are all Oliver's, this is my niece's. Um, that's Oliver's. These are presents in here, so I covered them up. <laughs> There's Christmas stuff. More Christmas stuff. And again, all of Oliver's toys. So he's got his Nuno, he's got a bag full of toys here. Recycle truck thing. This has got a trolley under there. Box full of things. And this is what I showed you, the electric battery operated motorbike so he puts his foot on the pedal and it goes so um i did a poll on my instagram and facebook asking if you wanted to see a what i got oliver for christmas and um most people mo sorry the majority said yes so i'll get that done um well, there's some stuff for Barney in there as well. But Oliver's off bounds now to this room. <laughs> but that'll probably be more December. I'll go through everything when I get it all down to wrap it. So it's all kind of being wrapped and going back up in the loft. But because he's got things like this that's quite big, that's why I needed the added sacks because things like this the new new those of you that don't actually know telly tubbies this isn't this is the new new <laughs> it's a shaped sort of pull along thing um and to be honest i can't even remember half the stuff he's got oh yeah his wiggles cup that i got made oh i've got one for my niece in here somewhere i've got one made for my niece She's a huge Frozen fan, but because she's got a, um, not a common name, she can never find anything with her name on it. So I got this made for her in the Frozen writing with glitter and sparkly bits. So that can actually go in this bag. So she's going to absolutely love that. So excited to see her face. And... Yeah, I, I can't even remember half the stuff that's in there. 
These are all like books and things. But yeah, so that's that. And now the job is to take these bits of the cot downstairs and then over the stair gate. So get on with that and talk to you with my next update. So I just thought I'd show you our chest freezer. It looks like this, it's a basic freezer. And they were absolutely amazing. They kept us up to date with their delivery and what's going on and what time they were coming. They were absolutely amazing. We um, got it off Amazon. So, um, yeah, it's a good freezer. I thought the company was really good. And it's just going to be perfect for, especially around Christmas time, because our freezer is quite small, so we can't fit much in there. Whereas this can hold like ice cream, dessert, you know, like chocolate fudge cake, all the goodies, all the nibbles, and any extras we get. And because there's, there's like extra vegetables, because we eat quite a lot of vegetables, so we get through them quite quick. And, but our freezer can only store a few. So again, we can really fill this up. If we see a good deal, we can grab it. It's got this little tray, which would be perfect for like ice lollies or something. Absolutely great. And I managed to sort this out. I put this here. Um, so I'm kind of standing behind the clothes horse, Oliver's clothes to dry. So yeah, I kind of put that there and just pushed everything along. It's all like this now. That's there. And his tool thing is in the living room for the minute until we figure out what to do with it. But, but yeah, this is kind of how we're looking now. Um, he kind of knows his cars, his figurines and things, so he bangs on the one he wants. And I just leave Mr Tumble's car out because he plays with that non-stop. And yeah, he's just got his carpets in the corner, so... So I'll show you how that's all looking. I feel like we're incredibly lucky again. Because in the lockdown in the spring, it was warm. It was really nice weather, we were so lucky. So I was able to go for our walks and sit in the garden if you have one and, you know, just be outside. When this one was announced, again, I was worried that it was just going to rain and be miserable. But again, so far, the weather hasn't been that bad. I mean, today, look, I mean, blue skies. It's such a lovely day. You wouldn't think we was in November. It's so warm today. Well, at least it is in my area. I know different areas of the country will be different but I again just feel we're so lucky with the weather you know I mean either way I've got to take Barney out but a lot of people pass me just going for their walk and I think they're so lucky it's not raining and so they can get out like I said I don't have a choice <laughs> Barney Barney wants to walk no matter the weather and he's currently found another puddle which is fantastic when I was walking around, I was like, yes, it's not that muddy. He's not going to get wet. I have a soaking wet cocker spaniel. <laughs> Look at you. You're dripping. You are dripping. There he goes. That's another bath for you then, is it? <laughs> I mean, how can you be mad? How can you be mad? Oh, 
when they are having that much fun, that much full of life and energy. Makes me laugh. There he goes again. So, if you don't want a wet and muddy dog, I would not recommend a Cocker Spaniel, as they are water dogs. <laughs> At least I think they're all the same. Everyone I've known or heard about has absolutely loved water. Let me know if you've got a spaniel and how they like water. Oh, there you go, he's chasing a bird. Yeah, so let me know if you've got any spaniels, what they're like, Cocker, Springer, King Charles. The King Charles Spaniel. Let me know what they're all like, if they all love water, if they're all full of energy, if they're all just great big kids. I find it interesting to know. And good thing I've got my wellies on because they're about to go splashing. <laughs> so I'm going to end this vlog here really hope you enjoyed it again as always give a massive thumbs up if you did please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it it really does help and like I said before just let me know what sort of videos you like and what ones you don't so um yeah I'm gonna go and finish this walk with my very very wet dog and I'll see you all next time bye